three years now, and um, I've been. This is the first time I lived in the states. I grew up and, and I was born and I was raised in Mexico, in Ciudad Juarez, which is right on the border with the United States. So I'm familiar with all of you in the general sense, you. <laughs> but uh, the first time, this is the first time that I've actually lived amongst the general sense, you. And so it's been quite a changing experience. And uh, one thing that I've noticed is how afraid you are of offending people. Uh, so much so that uh, even when you're about to be offensive, you start your sentences with no offense. <laughs> and that strikes me as quite strange. Uh, and you know, and, and, and their sentences like, no offense, but in America, so and so is possible. No offense, but uh, in America, so and so wouldn't happen. Well, no offense, but America is not a country. It is a continent. No offense, but the educational system that told you otherwise lied to you, and it did so purposefully. No offense, but referring to your country as America is not incidental. Rather, it is an act of aggressive imperialism perpetrated daily against every other American country. No offense, but there is not one American president, there is not one American constitution, there is not one American democracy. No offense, but the one democracy that you did invent was the one democracy that served your purposes best. No offense, but for the rest of the real America, the only difference between red and blue politics is just the color of the emperor's new vest. No offense, but you are an empire. No offense, but you are not a secular state. No offense, but you have simply confounded religion with nationality and nationalization with sanctity. No offense, but you still trust in God. No offense, but the God you trust in is yourself. No offense, but you live in circles. No offense, but you are so self-referential that nostalgia would be a vast improvement. No offense, but you only ask the questions when you have the answers at hand. No offense, but even your raised fists, they reek of national pride. No offense, but there is no one in the world that will care half as much as you do about whatever the fuck you have decided to care about this week. No offense, but there is no reason why anyone should. No offense, but there is nothing exceptional about you, your life, San Francisco in the 1960s or New York City in 2001. No offense, but I have studied you, lived amongst you, taken notes and kept journals, and the best you can offer is economic might. No offense, but your economic might was begotten in slavery, resuscitated through the Holocaust, given a purpose in the Cold War, grew into Latin American dirty wars, became redundant as drug wars, and has grown embarrassingly old through terror wars. No offense, but your economy is war. No offense, but your economy makes warriors out of all. No offense, but warriors kill. They kill life, they kill people, they kill stories, and yes, they even kill freedom. No offense, but freedom is indeed free. And if you or anyone else needs to become a warrior for the sake of freedom, then no one was free to begin with. No offense, but you, if you insist in using the word hero to refer to warriors, then would you please at least tell us what to call the scientists, the scholars, the learners, the home builders who inherit abstracted dimensions and turn them into beautiful reminders of lives lived as quiescent resistance to the freedom begotten by your democracy, your progress, your right to dream the right kind of dream, the dream you have decided to call American in its quintessence, your American dream. No offense, but there is nothing American about your dream. No offense, but there is nothing beyond nation to your dream. No offense, but there is nothing beyond economic might to your dream. 
No offense, but there is nothing beyond the economy of war to your dream. No offense, but you will never understand beyond your dream. So go ahead and understand. Try to understand. Try to negotiate. Try to change. That will only encourage me. Go ahead and try to oppress, crash, dominate. That will only encourage me. Go ahead and ignore, brush aside, and douche in self-delusion. That will only encourage me. Go ahead and kill. That will only encourage me. Go ahead. Encourage me. It's okay to hate your country. I've been hating Mexico, my own, ever since I developed enough of a conscience to do so. The secret is to use that hate. Use it to reveal all the ugly that is so conveniently glossed over by love. That's it.